Good morning, everyone. Dr. Garrett here um, for another reading this morning, a little later, um, but still here. Learning to see with the soul. One of the major tragedies of growing up is that the majority of us lose that wonderful capacity of children to see emotionally. Do you remember how you saw things when you were a small child? Sometimes things, and quite often the simplest, seemed so beautiful to us it was almost unbearable. That's why a small child, still unspoiled by the acquisitiveness of modern society, will keep the box or wrapping paper and throw away the gift. I was fortunate to live a part of my childhood on a small farm in Northern California. It was beautiful country. And I can remember how the earth smelled after a rain and how unutterably beautiful everything was. The trees, the grass, the poppies, the sky, the clouds, the birds, the puddles of water in the dirt road. Every walk in the fields or woods was the greatest kind of adventure filled with beauty. Well, I was reading W.H. Hudson, probably the greatest naturalist of all his time, pardon me, of his time, and came across this line. We may say that impressions are vivid and live vividly in the mind, even to the end of life, in those alone in whom something that is of the child survives in the adult. The measureless delight in all this visible world experienced every day by the millions of children happily born outside the city's gates, and with the delight, the sense of wonder in all life, which is akin to, if not one with, the mythical faculty, and if experienced in a high degree, is a sense of the supernatural in all natural things. We may say, in fact, that unless the soul goes out to meet what we see, we do not see it. Nothing do we see. Not a beetle, not a blade of grass. That's why two people can look at the same sight, and while one is transformed and struck dumb by the awesome beauty of it, the other person will turn and walk away. And the fact is, the other person didn't see it. He looked, but he didn't see. I remember coming back from Europe by ship one time, and one morning I came on deck to see the most beautiful and magnificent island I had ever seen. It was Seo Miguel in the eastern Azores. I stood at the rail transfixed by its sudden beauty for several minutes, then rushed below to bring my wife and son to see it. They thought it was beautiful too, but I could tell they had not effect, not been affected by it as I had. In the case of something else, things could very likely be reversed. But when we see, as Hudson says, somehow with the soul, unless the soul goes out to meet what we see, we do not see it. What makes an artist great, a writer, painter, or musician, is that in his work he is able, through some transcendent magic, to make things so real to us, we are able to see them in that way, with our souls going out to them. It's very difficult to express, but anyone who's been a child can usually remember the wonderful way things appeared. The trick and the idea is to keep that faculty alive. Again, I love the way Earl refers to children again in that, you know, innocent state in which which everything is so beautiful we see such beauty in the simple things as kids you know i love how he talks about how when you used to rip open the gift and you know played with the box more than you did the actual gift it's because as a child so innocent and unaffected by life you know really sees those things um those things of beauty that you know touch the soul And so I would say, you know, going into today, take a moment to stop and, you know, look differently, you know, your drive into work, um, let your eyes wander a bit, drive carefully. Um, but even at work, maybe look around and look at people a little differently, see the child, the the child in them and the child in the world, you know, that natural beauty that becomes somewhat of a supernatural power. You know, if you can keep that innocence and you can keep that laughter and that play, um, that keeps you young and healthy. 
And so today, as you, like I said, you go into work, take a moment, you know, even if you have to stop on the side of the road, park the car and just look or listen, um, enjoy it from the soul's perspective and let it go out and meet it. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and we'll be here tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining me this morning and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.